welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I wanted to do a highly requested vlog for you guys, which is my entire luxury handbag collection. I love watching these sort of videos because I love to go into people's heads and see what they have and what prompted them to buy a particular bag, why do they love it. And ultimately, I think these sort of videos will help me make that decision whether or not I should buy the handbag or whether or not I should sell my handbags. Let's get on to it. This is my entire luxury handbag collection. Let's start from the very beginning, which is the very first handbag that I bought. And this is actually not the very first handbag that I bought. This is um, a replacement to that because the first handbag that I ever bought was a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in Damier Azure. And I bought that in 2006, I think. Yes, I think it was 2006. And that was my very first luxury handbag that I bought. And I was just so like, gosh so scared I went to the Louis Vuitton store in Hong Kong and I actually planned a trip to Hong Kong just to buy that that bag and I was just so scared to give them my money because it was such a big amount and after that I started buying more handbags I had since sold that on a whim I don't know why I sold it I did a whole video about that but I bought this one recently I bought it last year to replace the Speedy 30 that I sold this is classic monogram speedy and I love it so much and yeah usually that is the case as I've learned when you sell your handbag you will miss it eventually so never sell your handbags okay next up is this Chloe bag this is a Chloe Marcy medium bag and this bag I actually featured on my best and worst luxury purchases and this is sadly on my worst list because secret <laughs> The shape kind of reminds me of something that is not so pleasant. So just watch that video if you're interested to find out what this looks like. But I use this quite a bit. This is an everyday bag, I think, and it's a good size. It can fit all your things. The zipper is kind of rigid, but it has Chloe over here and it has the flap over here which is a clue. You just watch that other video and find out what I think this looks like. So yeah, this bag. I don't really use this so much anymore. I think the quality is okay, but value for money wise, not a good purchase. Next up is this backpack from Alexander Wang. I got this on sale online. It was an online purchase. And this is the nylon one with leather trim all around it. So all around it is has like nice leather trim and zippers everywhere and it is um, a backpack but you can also it can be like a one strap kind of over the shoulder bag or you can turn it into a backpack and it also comes with a strap that makes it like a shoulder bag which I've never worn because this really looks like a backpack to me it's very sturdy and it's very squishy and soft and I love the leather. The, the material of the leather is really beautiful. And yeah, I'm kind of regretting not getting this in all leather. But the nylon is just as durable, I think. And it can expand like this. It can open the zipper all the way through to the back. And then it will expand the bag and make it bigger. So this is a mini, but it's far from being a mini because it is quite a roomy bag. I use it for like more casual outfits and this has worked well for me though I don't really get to use it as much as I should and I really should use it. It's really so cute and you can put a lot of things in here. Inside there's a smaller zipped compartment and there are smaller compartments over here and a zip part over here. So yeah, there's a lot of different compartments. It really is a cool bag. Next up is this backpack from Rebecca Minkoff. I bought this also online and I love the fringe detail and the entire bag is leather. And I've used this so many times, especially for travels, the zippered part. You can close it like this and there's just added security when you do it like that. Actually, when I see the photos, it is usually done like this, like you clamp it here to the bottom. But then when you wear it like this, then it's just so much easier to put back with you because someone can just open your bag like that. So I never wear it like that. It's just 
too dangerous. But I love that you have the option. And I usually wear mine like this. And I think it looks cooler. It has like two smaller zip compartments here. A lot of fringe, which makes it very fun. And gold hardware, which has since tarnished quite a bit. But I don't mind. So when you open it, you zip it down like this. And when you look at it inside, there's like um, a small compartment here. It's actually too small to put anything. And just a big space inside. And that is where I keep my dust bag. And yeah, I'm able to fit quite a lot in here actually, which is really perfect for travel. I can fit my family's passports, my wallet, and all the other miscellaneous things inside. And very roomy and very comfortable. The next purchase that I made is this Kuyana Carry All bag made fully in leather and it has my initials here but I don't know if you can even still see it. It's really worn. This is like more than five years old and I use this all the time to this day and it really is my carry all bag when I need to do a lot of errands and it just really works so well for me. Inside, it has like that raw kind of leather. It doesn't have a lining, which is fine with me because it really doesn't get that dirty inside. I've started to use a bag organizer just because it's like a big hole inside and I just keep losing everything. And you can wear it like this, like this side folds for added security or you can just wear it like this. And yeah, it's very lightweight. And very durable and whenever I get like color transfer in it I just like rub it with like a leather cleaner and it just goes back to looking new again and this is really served me so well for the past five years and I absolutely love this I love this bag and I still continue to use it to the, till this day and I think Kuyana really makes such amazing bags and they're made of real leather and they're just so pretty. I love the color of this. This is actually a very neutral color that I can pair with anything in my closet and it's just such a useful bag. Okay, so next up is my Givenchy Antigona in size mini. It's in the sugar leather and I love this bag so much. I actually did a bag review on this, like how the wear and tear is after five years. And you can go ahead and watch that video if you're interested. And I just basically talk about how durable this bag is, how well it has served me over so many years, and how good it looks. Even till this day, I think the design is such a classic design. It has very little bells and whistles. And I think one of the details that gives it an edgy look is the zipper, which is quite large. And I really love this bag. It is really a comfortable bag and it just looks so good after all these years. It has maintained its shape, although there are a lot of nicks and scratches. It doesn't look as pristine as it used to, but I made all of these nicks and marks and scratches, so I'm, I'm okay with it. And this bag will stay with me for the rest of my life, I think. It is really such a great bag to use and it's such a classic. Next up is a bag that I truly love and it is one of my favorites here in my collection. It is a Loewe puzzle bag in size medium in this beautiful cognac color. And I love how durable this is and how beautiful this is actually. The design is re really very striking and it's a classic. It really stands out from all my other bags, not only because of the color and how beautiful the leather is. It really is so striking and so simple and I love everything about this bag. And it has been, I think, almost two years since I've had this bag and it still looks brand new. It still looks very good and I use it whenever I travel. I love that you can wear it in many ways. It is such a classic bag and it's really worth the money, I think. I love that they have it in many colorways and many sizes. They even have it in mini, I think. And yeah, I love this bag so much and it has served me well for the past two years. Next up is a belt bag and it is by Claire V. It says there, Claire V. And this is actually gifted to me by Shop Stellin, which is a local Instagram site where they sell a lot of great brands like this. And yeah, the strap is inside. This is the strap and this is the back and you can wear it like here, like that. These two straps in front, it just gives it like an edge and a nice pop of color. I love the orange and the black 
and it sort of looks so good like this. I was able to fit a lot of stuff in the last video when I featured this. I fit my wallet, my phone, my weekly organizer. I think the size is really great. I mean, you can fit your phone inside and it is such a great size for a belt bag and it looks so stylish. It is snakeskin leather and it has this beautiful leather. This is so soft and the strap is very durable, I think. It is great to wear around the waist and it's very comfortable. Next up is a birthday present that I got myself last year and it is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in Emprunt Leather in Noir. And I was actually debating between this one and the monogram one. I was really actually thinking of getting this instead of the monogram. But when I went to the store, the monogram was sold out. So I didn't really have a choice. But then it's fine because I really wanted this one. And it, is, it has been such a classic bag. I love that it looks like a mini briefcase. And the gold hardware is just so pretty. I love how you can wear it crossbody. It is a very comfortable everyday bag back looks like this. I use this a lot and I found that the leather has been really immaculate. This was a great birthday present last year and this year now I'm worried can I top this one but I'm very happy with this and it was really a good purchase. So next up is this bag from Longchamp and this is called Amazon and it is in this beautiful blush color all leather and it has silver hardware all around. It's the silver hardware here. It kind of looks like a wishbone and it has the chain strap which is super lightweight. You can make it crossbody like this or you can make it double strap like this and it has this leather strap to make it very comfortable to wear around your shoulder. So the last long shop that I owned was the nylon one with the leather flap on top that everyone used to own. That really served me well. I was able to use that so much all throughout college and I used it until it really literally broke inside. Like the, the inside lining just started to crack and then the nylon just started to bubble up and it didn't look good anymore and so I got rid of it. And yeah, that was the last one that I got but this one is really a level up. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with how lightweight this is and the leather is just really pretty. It's very smooth but it doesn't scratch easily. I love how light the bag is. Like it's really perfect for everyday wear and you can carry a lot of stuff inside. Next up is a Chanel bag that I really love. This is the Chanel XL Tote which is a vintage piece that I got pre-loved. This was made in the 90s and I love how great this bag is for everyday wear. The leather itself is super lightweight, like it's so light, but I guess since this was made in the 90s, it has lasted this long. So the back is just plain. The front has the CC logo. It has this beautiful classic Chanel chain straps, which kind of weigh quite a bit but I really don't mind because it feels nice and rich and durable. I love this bag. This is like a great mom bag I think and you can just wear it every day and it just kind of like dresses up your outfit because of these giant Chanel chain straps. I love the gold details which looks very vintage though it really is vintage. I think it is a great alternative to the more expensive Chanel totes that they have in the store. If you don't want to spend so much and get Chanel, I think the only way to go is vintage. And this is such a great vintage buy. I'm so happy with it. And I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And I don't need to baby it because um, it has been used. And it just still looks so good. Okay, next up is this bucket bag from Mansour Gabriel. I got this bag pre-love from Fashion File and I got it for a steal. It was super inexpensive and I just really wanted a Mansour bag. And this is in the size mini, which is I think a perfect size for everyday use. The bag is kind of rigid, but I love how it maintains its shape and how lightweight it is. But it's just kind of a pain to keep tying this whenever you use it. Like, it just opens as you use it. So security-wise, this is not the most secure bag. Like, you really have to watch out for it because, yeah, it is very rigid. And even 
these straps are rigid so like what I said like when you tie them they kind of come undone and they loosen as you wear them and so you you end up with a bag that's like wide open for everyone to see and that's not secure so you really have to watch out for it and have to keep tying and retying this fortunately I like doing that and I really watch over my stuff and I love the leather though. I think the more you use it, the more distressed it looks and the more beautiful it looks. It just adds character to the bag. It has that Mansour Gabrielle here. Got in some like stains here and some scratches here, but I already got this with a lot of scratches, so I'm just kind of adding on to the character of the bag. I love the color. It's also like a nice cognac color, which is darker than my Loewe puzzle bag. So it's kind of like on the reddish kind of color, reddish brown. And yeah, I love this. I use this for everyday wear. It just kind of like dresses up an outfit, but you just have to really be careful with the strap and with the bag opening. So I never use this for travel. I just use this when I have to go to the mall or have to run some errands or be with like family or go to like um, someone's house for like a hangout or a party. Then this is the bag that I use. Next up is this Stella McCartney Falabella bag. This is quite a different design to the classic Falabella bag. It's kind of like a flap bag with tons of chains which are so heavy and yeah it has two flaps and a magnetic closure like this so you have the first flap with a big enclosure and the next flap which open like this and you have another enclosure so you're able to put a lot of stuff inside but the thing is with this bag it is very heavy the chains are very heavy I don't know why it is but the material of the leather or the fake leather vegan leather isn't heavy at all it has its stella mccartney here and i actually got this from a pre-love store in auckland new zealand when i just happened to pass by a mall there and they had like all these vintage stores and i found this and i got this for a steal and yeah i think it's a nice bag um, it is just very heavy on its own but it is very cute and this is the first Stella McCartney bag. I love how pretty the vegan leather is. It has like this iridescent kind of look to it. Cute bag but very heavy, very, very heavy. Next up is this mini bag from Dante Lente. It is a new designer. I knew about his designs in Net-a-Porte. Like his designs would always pop up in like the It bags and yeah, I was always on the fence because I didn't know how it looked in person until I saw two people, two of, two of my friends carrying it and I was like, oh, that bag is just so pretty and the leather is just so nice. This is smooth leather but it does not scratch miraculously. It is, I don't know how it does it. It has a few small scratches now that I look at it but overall, I mean, it has maintained its shape. And I've used this quite a lot. I use it as an everyday bag and I fit quite a lot in it. I fit the essentials of course. It doesn't really lose its shape. I love this part here which makes it like a handbag. You can carry it like that or like this. And just put it. you can just put it down when you're not using it. I love how pretty it looks. The leather is just nice and smooth and the design is just so cool. Like this is the front and this is the back. I've gotten so many compliments from it. It's really so pretty and I love the leather. If there's one thing about this bag, it's how, how structured it is and how the leather just looks. It's just smooth but it doesn't scratch at all. I don't know how they did that. And if you can see the stitching, it's just really nicely done. So neat and so well stitched all over the bag and it's really worth the money this is only like i think around twenty thousand pesos or less than four hundred dollars and it's really worth the money for me beautiful bag next up is this recent purchase of mine which is the chanel classic flap in size small i recently did a video about this bag and how i bought it and what i think of it and how it fits me and you can click on that too if you want. I really love this bag. I've been pining over this bag for 14 years before I finally found it. And I bought it pre-loved. I bought it vintage, which is I think the only way to go because the prices 
of Chanel bags are just crazy. I can't even like fathom paying that much for a bag. And so I went the pre-love route and I'm so glad that I found this in pristine condition. This is in lambskin leather and this is I think from the 1990s which makes this more than 20 years old. It is just such a pretty bag and I think it was really well maintained. Like I love that it still has some kind of puffiness to it because I've seen some vintage Chanel bags and they are just so flat and kind of sad looking but still beautiful but I'm glad that this still has a bit of puff to it. It has a gold plated CC logo and this is just perfect for my collection I think because I don't have anything like this pretty bag and it fits the essentials. And last but not the least is a bag that I recently got. I actually wanted to do a video about this first before revealing it here but I just thought I might as well include this since I wanted this bag for a long time and it is the Alma BB and the Damier Eben and it is such a cute mini bag. I've always liked the silhouette of the Alma bag but I always thought it looked kind of old lady like but this one really fits the bill. I think the Alma design in size mini is just so perfect. It just looks so good worn crossbody and all the little details like the the padlock and the little key inside. It just looks so good. I'm just so happy about this purchase. I wanted to reveal this in another video but fine. Might as well reveal it here. This is new. I bought it new because I noticed that in the pre-love market, the prices are the same as the brand new or even higher, which is so ridiculous. Like I'd rather buy a brand new if that were the case. And so I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I bought it brand new and I am just so happy about it. The prices actually went up since they launched this bag, but for me, it is still quite affordable. I know in the future, it'll be just be higher and higher, and so I decided to get it. I don't have this print in my collection, and so I decided to go for this one instead of the classic monogram. Plus, this is more carefree. The leather is treated leather, and so it won't change color, and yeah. I love this bag. Yeah, I feel like my collection is pretty much complete. I'm very happy with it and I'm happy with all the bags that I own. They're different in their own way and they serve a different purpose and a different function and they have like different styles and isn't this pretty. I'm gonna do another video about this just sort of like showing you how it looks and how I wear it and stuff because it really deserves its own video. And there you have it, guys. I hope you liked it. This was my entire luxury designer handbag collection from the time that I started collecting handbags. And I have sold some, especially the ones that I bought in the beginning that were on sale. I have sold those since. I'm gonna do another video about that, like sort of like my history into buying specific handbags. But yeah, this is the collection that I have now and I'm very happy with my current collection, it really serves its own purpose. Like each bag has its own function and style. And I think I was able to fill in the gaps very well. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below which one is your favorite. Consider subscribing guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.